Okay, so today we'll be making a periscope using paper. So this is the paper that we've got here to make the periscope. We need to get two pocket mirrors. Please be careful with it because it got sharp. It has sharp edges. A box cutter and a pair of scissors. Also some tape that I've already cut out here in order to fasten the edges. And what we need to do initially is, is take a look at these black portions here. We need to cut them out and make sure that they're discarded. So let's start with that. Now for the inner portions that you need to cut, make sure, uh, use the box cutter. Make sure you cut only the black portions, else you'll be cutting through your chances of successfully creating a periscope. Now you can see here, there are four slits here. Make sure you don't cut any of the dotted lines. These four slits, open it up with the box cutter. Once you're done with the cutting section, you can start folding it in to form like a cuboid. So follow these instructions, first, second, third fold. And fold along the dotted lines. Now, as you can see, you have to give a point. Secure the end with tape. Now, the ends of it hold it inwards and tape them together as well. Now you can see that both the ends have been folded in a similar manner by using tape and you remember that we have made these slots so the pocket mirrors that we have go into these slots. Make sure how you place them. The square section is the portion through which the light rays enter into the periscope. So the reflecting surface of the mirror should be facing the square hole place it in that manner and make sure that the mirror sits on both the slits so it doesn't fall down and sits at the correct angle. Now as you can see the light ray enters in, gets reflected by this mirror and goes down. Now here the reflecting surface should be facing the hole outside so that we can see the ray. So ensure that it sits in the same manner on both the slits. Now you can see that it's done perfectly to the square hole, ray enters, hits the first mirror, reflects it to the second mirror which then reflects the ray to your eye.
Now you can use this to see view images over an obstacle. So your paper periscope is now ready. Thank you.